Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, we're gonna jump right on into it today. We got another video here, part of the Lawn Tourpreneur series, highlighting a bunch of great, successful teenagers across the country. We're over here in Lansing, Michigan, Okemos area with Ethan Hammond. What's up, bud? Nothing much, how are you? How are you? How are you? Dude, good. It's good seeing you in the flesh, man. Oh yeah. Uh, we did a podcast, what, last summer or in the winter? Um. I think it was last summer and in the winter. We did too. Yeah, too. Look at this guy, man. He's just famous. He's all over all the content, you know? Uh, so we're doing a uh, kind of an equipment setup here. We're gonna go visit some landscape jobs. Uh, we're over here. I said Okemos or Lansing, where are we at? We're technically in Bath right now, which is Bath. about uh, 20 minutes north of Okemos. 20 minutes north? 15, 20, yeah. Okay, cool deal. Is it more country over here, more subdivisions? It's more country. It, they're starting to kind of blossom up okay that's what i'm starting to call it is a blossoming subdivisions but all right well we're over here at uh, your guys's uh, barn and garage and setup and uh, tons of equipment over here this is going to be really really cool real quick before we jump into it big shout out and thank you to equip echo and stable for sponsoring this summer tour series they're the ones that make this possible to come do all these quick interviews and podcasts so make sure you guys check them out in the description box so you want to do a little walk around here man you got some equi great equipment if i pan this way a little tease yeah we got look at all this stuff all right, we're gonna be here all day, man. Let's check yeah, this out. All right, here, before we jump into it, give these guys like a two or three minute, maybe uh, just highlight real about who you are, uh, what your business looks like, and uh, how you got started cutting grass. All right, so my name is Ethan Hammond. I uh, I am 17 years old now, out of uh, Okemos and Bath, Michigan, so mid-Michigan area. Um, we service about 80 clients on the regular, um, landscaping and lawn mowing. We're a full maintenance company. Okay. Um, I got started in 2019. Uh, I wanted to become a farmer, so I figured out that I could do landscaping to be able to afford the big equipment, the big tractors, combines, whatever. Cool. And that's kind of blossomed into um, doing landscaping, so then I can kind of get down to that, get down dirty on the farm, you know, within the next 10 to 20 years or so. Cool. Start kind of building my own thing. So this is the kind of your seed money to get the, the bigger equipment and uh, make a build a farm and all that other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think the landscaping is kind of what I've really fallen in love with. So sure. I'm gonna kind of keep doing this until, you know, I decide to retire. All right, man, that's really cool. So we're over here. Um, this is uh, your parents' property, but all the equipment we're gonna show, it's yours, this is your company. Yep. No mommy and daddy's money, right? No mommy's and daddy's money. No. I, we all wish, right? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, right. Um, all right, so you wanna take us through a quick tour. First thing I see, are these tractors part of it or are these um, just uh, kind of like weathered? kind of like push out of the way. Yep. So this is, um, this is a tractor that I got when I was 11 years old and uh, was planning on restoring it, but I haven't had time. Sure, um, little we, collector. We could go check out the trailer right now if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this I'm following a, you. This is a 2022 PJ. It's a seven by 22 foot dovetail. Um, it's a pretty nice trailer. I've been meaning to order equipment defender racks for it, but haven't had time to order them and also install them. So sure. we're just going to run it without anything in the next spring, uh, throw down for some equipment defender racks. Cool. Um, but this is the dovetail, so it's, um, disregard that board right there. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> sure. But, um, it's 20 feet from this beam that way. Okay. And uh, the dovetail uh, basically just means when you're loading up your mowers, it's less of an incline. Um, but the uh, the one thing about PJ that kind of sucks is their, uh, their paint quality isn't that good. So it's already starting to kind of chip off and stuff. Oh, sure. Um, what year is the trailer? Newer? This is 2022. Oh, wow. So, brand new. Yeah, brand new. Okay. Uh, picked it up in the fall, but it does have the split gates with the uh, heavy duty ramp. Uh, yeah, heavy duty ramp. So, if you had a tractor or something like that. Yeah, something like that. But And then what's the length on this? Uh, this is 22 foot. 22 foot. Yep. Seven, seven, seven and a half? Seven by 22. Seven by 22. Okay. So, and then, uh, so you got these couple tractors out here as well. Yeah, this was, um, this is actually my third tractor I ever bought when pre-driver's license, I would drive around my neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, that's where most of my accounts are. But this was kind of like my big plow tractor and stuff. But since then I sold it to my grandpa. So it's kind of just been mowing out and around here. So there you go. Um, but yeah. Pretty dope. It's a it's a nice tractor. It's a diesel. Okay. Yeah. So we can head this way. So this was kind of like this tent over here. This was my, um, my first ever shop if you will when i was 14 i bought this uh from costco and the wind hit it because we do this is a cornfield back here so the wind will just kind of 
Rip through? Yeah, and it ripped through. We had like 40 mile an hour winds and stuff, so um, it's due for a replacement. We oh, tried yeah. fixing it, but yeah. in here we just have snow blowers and wheelbarrows and rakes and then this is a leaf plow. Uh, if you want to maximize your fall cleanup uh, setup, get one of these. Despite if you have a walk behind blower, stand on blower, back effect blower, every single lawn or every single fall cleanup crew needs one of these. Is that the JR Pro Detach? This is the uh, the Jerko um, leaf plow. Yeah, so. I need to get one of these for my Vertex. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty nice. It's made a lot of money for us, and it's a huge time saver because you can um, yeah kind of roll without the tarps. There you go. There you go. Um, so before we get too far into this video, I do want to show you um, some job sites out in Okemos that we we've done. Yeah, I was wondering, if, uh, do you have some landscape jobs or maintenance? We have both okay so yeah there's there's a couple sites that we can go visit all right well let's do this real quick before we jump into that we got a little tease right uh that's what my friend paul jameson says so here's the shop want to just walk in really quick yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see just, what's up we'll just walk in and spin around so this is what you guys have uh, looked forward to before we uh check out some of the landscape jobs but yeah. holy cow man this is awesome there's a so this is all your equipment wall yeah i see you're a big steel guy um we're a big <laughs> steel guy but you like orange um, no, I'm just kidding. No, I uh, I kind of started to switch and kind of go on the uh, the right cool light and then go with uh, Echo our steel formix trimmers. Oh, as much as we love them, they are just a huge pain in our butt whenever it gets hot. Sure. So we bought this SRM 2620 and it's just gotten uh, absolute. Like everyone loves it, and yeah. uh, it's really just a reliable trimmer. That's my go-to. We have three of them. Yeah. Uh, three or four of them now. I don't even know. Hooked up with the with the Darwin's grip. There you go. Bought those from uh, Ballard. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll go through the whole wall here, all the equipment, but just a little tease. This is uh, the crazy setup here. You got a 36, 36, 52, a 61, and then the windstorm. Holy cow! All right. Well, here's a quick little tease. We're gonna do transition. We're gonna go catch up over in Okemos, and then we're gonna come right on back. So a little transition here. We were actually. Uh, so where are we at? We're at one of your landscape jobs. Yeah. So we're at one of my landscape jobs. We uh, buttoned this up last week. It was just a day. Uh, thing okay so uh, we can kind of walk around and kind of check it out yeah um, so basically all of this um, is overgrown about a foot tall with grass and uh, we just weed whack or we got it all down cut the bed out and then we put uh, walnut brown mulch in this you looks a little shaggy right now but it's gonna pop back out it was about no joke 10 feet tall okay so we cut it in half per customer's request um, Rounded out all the boxwoods, took um, some branches that were kind of up against her house. She had big timbers in here. So okay. We, we ripped all these out. She had like old fence. Uh, if you want to pan over here, but underneath this crab apple. So we just pulled that out and stuff and clean it all up. Yeah. And then over here, we had this this huge um, this huge tree, and I kind of figured this out the hard way, but. When you have a tree like this and you think it's going to take uh, a certain Hour two. amount of time, like yeah. two and a half hours, man hours, tack on about three times that. <laughs> because this was, this no joke took three hours to do and uh, had to hook up the truck to it and pull it out and stuff. But You didn't do the uh, the Keith Kalfa sawzall, you know, technique where you saw all the roots out? Oh, I, I didn't do that. No. <laughs> Next time though, I should probably do that. Yeah, there you go. And then just mulch around the tree. But. Over there, yep. Yeah. So, so what's your uh, your weekly schedule look like? So you had uh, some like eighty clients, right? Yeah. Uh, or eighty to one hundred mo, mo accounts. So yeah. do you fill in the cracks with landscaping, or? Yeah, I just fill in. Okay. And, yeah. Is it just uh, you and the guys? Once you're done mowing, you'll go do some landscaping. Yeah, pretty much. Like okay. We'll, we'll work a uh, couple, two or three days out of the week doing the mowing, and then. Um, when you we'll, can fit in the landscaping. Yeah. Well, so we'll have like three days of mowing and then two days of landscaping. So. Cool. Yeah. All right, and then a typical. This is like a typical size job. Like, what's that? Um, what What are you guys doing for like revenue on a job like this? Two, three, four grand. On for landscaping. Yeah. This is you're probably sitting at about for a job like this, twenty five hundred bucks. Okay. Roughly. Cool. Um, and then the lawn. This is probably about a forty five to fifty dollar lawn. Okay. With fuel surcharges, uh, fifty, but. Yeah. Awesome, man. And then uh, this is most of your lots are what, half acre, three quarter acres? Yeah, half acre. We got a couple bigger properties too, but. Oh, cool. And that's where we're going to go next is to uh, our church that we do. All right, man. Take me there. Let's go. All right. All right. So we got another quick transition here. So we are, where are we at now? Another mo client? Yeah. So we're at uh, a lawn and snow client of mine. This is the uh, Presbyterian Church of Okemos. Um, 
and this is kind of an area that we do. Yeah. So this is kind of like the main area, and then that's Oakness Road right there. Okay. So, yep, that's the stripes and everything are popping with those skags. So. I, I know. When's the last time you mowed? Um, we mowed this way Friday. So. Okay. Yeah, stripes are still looking pretty sharp. Three days later, four yeah. days later. We had uh, we had rain. Otherwise, they'd be popping yeah they'd just be popping there you go well let me ask you this this is a bigger uh kind of it's not a commercial site but it's a commercial site yeah um how are you getting clients these days because that's one of the questions i get a lot is are you um getting referrals google my business yard signs postcards no no right or wrong answer obviously how, uh -huh. how are you getting clients now and maybe even back in the day number one would have to be word of mouth okay word of mouth is a big one um and then with these commercial sites because they don't really want to go out and find you unless you're like a bigger company mm -hmm. you gotta start calling them up okay so i bidded this out with three or two other companies um that and we're in the area and they're larger companies so they asked them and then i just kind of called up okay um but then i use facebook ads a lot and then also uh, i have a website and google my business and uh like door hangers postcards stuff like that so there's a lot of ways that i do it branding with the shirts people people will see that see the name yeah they'll see it recognize it um but probably like the number one would be word of mouth because okay. if betty uh on the neighbor or on the corner there says hey i want my landscaping done and sally uh next door is getting hers done by you know your company then betty will come out and she'll be like oh do you guys have a card yeah always have a card on file or card on hand i mean and uh then you just give it to betty and you know you might win another couple grand in uh, landscaping there you go man there you go so. awesome man well uh this is just a quick tour of some of the different jobs uh mo, mo jobs landscape jobs business is booming obviously but yeah. uh i think we're headed back to the shop we're gonna go uh talk equipment and uh button this thing up us landscapers like to play on toys right we like to go outside and get dirty It'll help tremendously um, learning about the equipment and actually getting to get hands on with the equipment and learning how it works and how it's going to specifically fit into our business. We come here because we do a lot of outdoor activities, lawn, landscapes, everything else in between. What I like about it, it's still real hands on. I like to go out like in the outdoor area to sample some of the bigger machines, talk to the people that have created the machines and find out what's best to meet our needs. I'm looking forward to getting out and doing some demo on the equipment out there as well. This outdoor demo area is the best thing that you could ask for because you can see all this equipment and try it. All right, man, so we are back. A little uh, walk through with the landscape jobs, the mowing. So we're gonna talk equipment. So again, I was giving you some gruff. I said, are you a big steel guy or do you like the color orange? But uh, maybe your favorite color is green, I don't know. But yeah. uh, let's talk about all the equipment, man. So before we jump into this, I gotta say, um, talk to me about your mindset starting your lawn care business and reinvesting or how, how you've gotten this far because we're gonna go through a lot of equipment, a lot of money moving around. Mm -hmm. And I get it all the time, you know, like we said earlier, mommy and daddy's money or um, did somebody just give you all this stuff? And that's, that's just not the case. That's one, something I want to highlight on this series. So how did you get started? What was your first couple uh, pieces of equipment, if you will? And then what do you have you just like reinvested along the way, obviously? So my first couple pieces of equipment, I didn't start out push mowing lawns. Okay. I, uh, actually, if we pan over here, we'll kind of go in kind of a wonky order. Yep. My grandpa, not, um, not the one that lives next door. This is actually my grandpa's building. Okay. And we just kind of rented out from them but my other grandpa and i uh restored this tractor and i was all of about maybe 10 years old and or 10 or 11 and i had this tractor and a little snowblower and me and my friend would just go around the neighborhood and charge 20 dollars to to uh plow driveways and i did that for a couple of years and then i said okay what do i want to do with my life mm -hmm. and then i said all right landscaping as i said earlier in the video and um so I ended up getting uh, a zero turn with like 7,000 hours on it for my cousin. Wow. Uh, a 48 inch gear drive, stuck in the gear though, walked behind. <laughs> and um, with, I don't even know how many hours were on that. And then a old rusted out track back. And um, basically I kind of got started with that. And my cousin actually owns another landscape company. So those were his equipment. Okay. And uh, 
You want to cut? Yeah. Are we good? There's my grandma. Oh, there you go. Sorry about that. No problem. Um, but anyway, so uh, he kind of said, all right, well, I'll give you this equipment. And I know that you're 12 years old and you don't have any way to pay it off or pay it. So just give me a hundred dollars each month. So that's kind of what I did. Okay. And I did that for an entire year. And uh, then- Kept kind of reinvesting. Started, yeah, started reinvesting with uh, the money that I made. I had about 10 accounts that first year. Okay. And um, so, yeah, and then here we are today. Wow, that's awesome. So what? Do you, how many are you guys mowing right now? You said earlier, but like 80 or 100 or something? Yeah, 80. Wow. That's where we're at. So. That's awesome. Between work, school, everything, man, that's, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, work and school, and girls. And girls, and, there you go. Can't forget the ladies. Well, hopefully just the but, one girl one day, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I guess if we start down the wall, uh, we kind of have... Um, combi units? Yeah, we got all the combi stuff. This is actually one of my first pieces of orange equipment. This was uh, steel HS56. Yep. Hedge trimmer, beast of a hedge trimmer. I have that one, I love it. Yeah, light, uh, big bar, everything. Um, but then, so I, I got all this stuff from Home Depot, pegboard, and then all this is drilled into the studs. Okay. Um, but, so we have just like the combi pull saw, extension, hedge trimmer, um, battery definer, echo, or not echo, edger, my bad. Mm -hmm. Uh, cones, surface cleaner, and this is the combi with the, uh, we put the steel head on it for today. Um, and then we have the Echo SRM2620. Um, this is the, uh, oh, the power head on this is a KM131R, so the bigger engine. Yep. Uh, then this is the FC111. Uh, this is a straight shaft edger. Um, and then the FS91R with the uh, Darwin script. Okay. Um, and then kind of panning to the blower wall, we uh, we have two BR800Xs. Uh, absolutely love these, uh, phenomenal. Just everything, everyday use. Okay. And then we have the uh, Sidestar 800. This is my first backpack blower that I ever bought. Um, and that was, I don't know, 650 bucks, but to a 12 year kid, that was a lot of money. Oh yeah, oh yeah, um, still a lot of money. Yeah, it still is. BR600, and then that was, I don't know, Bought that end of the year and I was like, all right, well, I want our backpack blower for fall, so I picked that up. Um, and then we have our forestry helmets. We do some tree work, not a whole lot, but uh, I still rather be safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that if anyone has a multi-tool, I would suggest getting one of these on bigger jobs. It's a bristle broom. And uh, so what you do basically is just pop it in and then if you have like a big pile of dirt or something on the driveway or uh, something like that, you can just, uh, get it into a pile so you're not having to uh, shovel it all by hand, just little stuff. Yeah. Um, and then we have, I don't know, like a heater and then battery charger, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, up here we keep our, or we keep our shirts and apparel and stuff like that. Um, backpack sprayer. We have loppers and crowbars and stuff. Um, these are blades. We actually just got them all sharpened, so. Yeah. Usually we'd have like a uh, a clean or like a new blade pile, and then sharp or dull blades would go right here. Okay. Um, and then we have just like hand tools, welding helmets, uh, chainsaw chains. Moving on chainsaws. This is a, a MS two fifty one. Mm -hmm. This is my one of my actually this is my smaller saw, and then this is my big dog MS four hundred C with wow. a twenty inch bar. This has an eighteen inch. Um, but this is the 400, it's quite a monster. Wow. Um, moving down here, we have our, you know, good old goodie bag of tools. Um, two stroke oil. Yeah, two stroke oil, edger blades, uh, random lubricants that you might need, gloves. Pretty much anything that the guys will need when they walk in the door in the morning is all right here for them to get. We have a lot of gas cans and diesel, which we all know that's about a million dollars right there sitting. <laughs> um, and then we got just toe straps and uh, plow right marking stakes. These are oh yeah some of the best ones. I actually won this in a giveaway, so. Hey, there you go. Shout out to them, I guess. Um, so by the way, let me ask yeah. you this. Um, you said when everybody comes to show up, so how many guys are working with you in the crew? Just you or um, you and a couple guys? I have about four employees right now. Or okay. I have four employees. Okay. So yeah, they're all just kind of high school kids and then we'll kind of lose someone to or some of them to sports and yep. stuff but 
usually in the summertime I like to rock around four guys. And they all show up here? They all show up here and then we just drive to Okemos. Okay. Do you have uh, just the one truck and setup that goes out? Yeah, just the one for now. I actually ended up buying a flood truck that I didn't know about uh, this spring. And uh, well, that was going to be your second truck, but it didn't work out. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, those are your uh, all your hand tools, your kind of your catch-all spot. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, my new toy. This is a Honda 250F or CRF 250F dirt bike 2022. Just bought it. Well, we're, we're getting to the good stuff now because they said, um, whose bike? And you said, this is a personal reward that you just recently bought for yourself from all the hard work. Yep. And uh, Henrik's got a nice new car. Uh, Jake's lawn care, if you will. He just bought a, uh, a brand new truck. So you're you're 16 or 17? 17. 17, 17 yeah. and buying your own new brand new dirt bike. Oh yeah. How does that feel? It feels nice. It was kind of like so I could either, you know, and this is why I haven't done this in a couple of years. But there's the reason why I have all this is because nonstop work I've just reinvested mm -hmm. into the company, and you know, four years into it, now I buy something for myself uh, to play with. So is that cool? Yeah. It's it's pretty nice. Well, for anybody who's out there is a big dirt bike fan, and uh, if you guys got a dirt bike or you want some nice toys, leave me some comments down below. But what what is this thing? Uh, I know nothing about dirt bikes. It looks really, really dope. Yeah, so it's a, a CRF 250F four-stroke bike. Um, it has 250 cc's, and it goes about 70 miles an hour down the road or trail. But Wow. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. That's awesome, man. We'll work hard, play hard. Right. And then in this cabinet, I don't know if we can kind of squeeze in here, but we have uh, all sorts of... Oh, yeah, lubes, oil. Yeah, lubes, oil. Uh, there you go. I don't know if I have any oil ma or owner's manuals in here, but they're around here somewhere. Owner's manual, that's what YouTube's for. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, and then, so this is the tractor that we restored. It's a 1973 John Deere 112. It's been in my family since new, so we just restored it. Uh, that's what I got started plowing snow with. Wow. Um, just to hop back here before we get too far. I remember you talking about this on the podcast. Yeah, so this is a uh, bed edger. And uh, basically, if you want to zoom in here, it it's, uh, has a four inch blade on it and it cuts out the uh, um, the beds like oh. the uh, battery definer would. Wow. And it's a uh, brown trench master. What's the name of it? Brown? Yeah, Brown Products Trench okay. Master. They okay. didn't have the bed edger, so uh, the bed edger has like the back wheels that swivel. This is just standard, like got pulled around the yard, but. That's awesome. I don't think I've seen one of those in person, maybe at like a quip or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. But nothing in person, but I've seen them on Instagram and YouTube. Yeah, so they're they're uh, quite the machine. If anyone's doing a lot of mulch, that's what you need. All right. Um, so I guess moving into the stuff that everyone's here for, uh, this is all my, uh, Skag lineup. I bought all these uh, at the end of last year. These are all 2022 models. Um, but I guess starting off, this is a V Drive or V Drive 2, 36 inch. It has the uh, FX 600 uh, cow on it, carbureted, and it's what we use on all of our backyards. And it's just a beast. Um, I had a X Mark Metro uh, before this, and I thought that that was good. And then I hopped on this, and I'm going eight miles an hour, and that's what's really nice. Well, the Metro was a uh, walk behind? Yep, Metro walk behind. Yeah. So, um, night and day difference when you're standing, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that's awesome. And this is a uh, 36? Yep, 36. This this is one of the most popular backyard 36 inch mowers. This, maybe a, um, really say like a right stander. Yep. And then um, maybe a, a new X Mark or a Toro 33, 36. But yep. Skag V Ride 2 and the rights are usually the, the go to gated backyard mower. Well, the thing about 36 inch stand ons is that. They are usually very tippy, but this thing is not going anywhere. That's solid. Um, but yeah, then moving on, this is um, our 52 inch uh, VI2. Um, this actually has the 37 horse big block Vanguard on it. Yeah. Which is a beast of a engine on a 52. It's That's, nuts. That is crazy. Yeah. Does it ever bog down or no? No. No. It, it goes through anything, cuts through anything. That's um, awesome. Yeah, and then this is what we put our leaf plow on it, the Jerko leaf plow, so. Oh, okay, this is the mount? Yep, that's the mount for it. And uh, quite the uh, quite the nice setup. I like how they have it mounted to the frame instead of just a bar, so oh. less paint scratch and stuff like that. There you go. Over time. And then we end up having uh, headlights put on it for fall. Um, 
So I could kick those on for you. Okay. If you wanted to. Sure. So. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're pretty bright. And um, I saw a guy mowing the other day. Uh, literally, it was 9:30 at night. He was mowing along the uh, the highway in the curbside, and I said, "The guy needs some lights, like at a minimum." So you can get light accessory kits on all your mowers. It's a it's a smart investment. Yeah. Vis smart. Visibility. Um, and then this is kind of person my favorite mower because the one that I run all the time. It's uh, the 61 inch V ride, and then this has the Cal FX 1000, a 38 and a half horsepower um, engine on it, big block. And this thing is an absolute beast. Doesn't really ever bog down. And it's just, for me personally, I find that it's the best uh, mower deck and combo um, kind of set up. Okay. So just a little trip down memory lane. I didn't have all this last year. Um, actually to replace the 52, I had uh, my first ever zero turn that I bought brand new. And that was a Toro Z Master 2000, 52 inch deck and you know, I love Toro and all, but it was just kind of time to time to trade into a different brand because that mower had a lot of issues. It only had about 250 hours on it. Oh, wow. Okay. So it was pretty new and it had fuel pumps going out. Um, when like you shut it off, it would decel, which means like it would fire back up without okay. the key on. Okay. So there was just a lot of issues with it. Um, and then this, I uh, will replace what this replaced was a uh, 60 inch Starus, X Mark Starus. Okay. Um, for as much crap as everyone gives the Starus, I actually really liked it. But when you all when you go orange, you'll never go back. So <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> um, and then this is kind of the uh, one of the stars of the fall, or this is the star of the fall cleanup um, setup. This is a Skag Windstorm, and uh, it's actually has a 37 horsepower engine on it, and it blows. I want to say it's like 6,500 CFM. It's, okay. Uh, comparable to six B800s that are on the wall. Wow. Um, but this thing's pretty nice. It actually has, um, unlike the Hurricanes and stuff like that, it has the nozzle tilt 300. I don't know. I don't think it's like 450 degrees. Um, and then also up and down as well. Oh, look at that. So it articulates. Okay. Yeah, and it has a PTO, so it's not constantly blowing air, which is good in some there you go. some cases. But well, let me ask you this: how 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 do you get from just the little John Deere tractor to all this in three or four years? That's that's what a lot of guys are wondering, right? They're uh, 15, 16, 18 years old. They want to start a lawn care business. Obviously, you put in some work to get this far. Yeah. So I mean, it's really just kind of blood, sweat, and tears. Reinvest over and over again. Um, I don't have a girlfriend. Never have. I don't smoke weed or do drink or anything like that. Don't go out and party. This is just what I've been doing for the past four years. And it's entirely to get to that end goal, which I think that everyone's trying to get to, which is, you know, the house on a hill with nice cars and pretty wives or, you know, whatever you want to Amen. do. Uh, just to make money and reinvest though right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's all this is just hard work, dedication, just right back into the company. There, so there you go. But yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, uh, well, give me some uh, parting thoughts here as we kind of button this thing up. Because uh, any anything that you want to leave with these guys, you're saying reinvest, hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, staying focused. Yeah. Um, but give me uh, like a pain point or a pain story, maybe the last uh, two three years trying to grow this thing. Anything uh, that um, you want to leave these guys? I guess school is a big one. So you know, if you're a if you're a teenager, if this is what you really want to do for the rest of your life, I'm gonna kind of go with what your parents don't want you to hear, which is. If this is what you're gonna do and you know that you're gonna be this successful with it or as successful as like me and all the other guys that have been on this pod or on this uh, sure. YouTube serial. Yep. Yeah. Um, just, you don't really have to try in school. Like obviously keep your grades up, but you know, if you if you have to go out and plow during a school day, you shouldn't feel bad about it. Um, like I have to go out and plow every single time it snows. And if it's on a school day, I'll just tell my mom, I'm gonna be like, hey, I gotta go plow. And she knows that this is what you're gonna do. So maybe also communicate that to your parents that, you know, this is what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. And it's a priority. Yeah, it's a priority. And really who wants, you know, you shouldn't be kind of married to school. You know, that's why they call it schooling and not education. So there you go. But, I, I like it, man. All right, so a little transition here. We uh, wanted to mention the truck, man. Totally forgot uh, while yeah. we were pulling out. I said, dude, you got a sweet truck. Uh, so what do we got looking here, part of the setup? So this is a uh, 2007 
Chevy Silverado 2500 HD with the uh, the 60 gasser. Um, I bought this. I think it was like winter of 2021. Okay. Like end of winter of 2021. No. Spring of 2021. I'm sorry about that. My yep. mind's blanking. Um. So yeah, this has just kind of been my first truck. So I've done a lot to it. Put tow mirrors on it. Lettered it up with my grandpa. Uh, back rack. Uh, pod lights and then a uh, light bar. Um, that looks awesome. Yeah, so it's. And you plow with this guy? Yeah, this is my uh, my personal and my plow truck, so I can't be doing any stupid crap <laughs> and just yelling at people and stuff. You know, typical sixteen year old, or right. seventeen year old. Fashion. When the name's on the truck, you got to act, uh, act straight. You know. Yep. That's awesome, man. This is cool. You put some different tires on there, or those came with it? Um, yeah. yeah these, so these are new tires. These are uh, BF Goodrich's KO2 All Terrains. Yeah. So. Have, uh, how do you like them in the snow so far? Love them. I mean, I've I've never uh, spun out unless on purpose so uh <laughs> there you go yeah but it's been quite a nice truck i did have the radiator blow out on me uh last fall but it was probably time to get that replaced anyway so sure um, awesome man all right well cool deal yeah. awesome bud well uh well really quick here i got uh something i want to give you uh you got a quick second you want to follow me yeah uh so we're this whole tour is sponsored by equip echo and stable and uh, in the back seat here i got the camera so i need your help if all you right. can uh in the back left seat uh, you don't know that I'm doing this. No, but, no uh, idea. So back left, see, we got some, some goodies. All right. So really quick, there's a red bag uh, from right. Sable right there. Grab that. Cool. Uh, why don't you do this real quick? Bring it to the tailgate. All right, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do like a 30-second un unboxing. Uh, this is all you. Let me get on this side of you. All right. Uh, this is from Stable. So uh, they said they want to invest and uh, just give Sweet. back a little bit. So you got a hat. Some uh... 360 protection. There you go. Shout out to the folks at Stable. Ceramic Pro Guard. That's right. Some storage. You uh, you ever use a Stable brand? I have not. I've always wanted to do it, but uh. Well, here's your starter kit. Yeah, here's my starter kit. Yeah, blade guard. You can add that to like your hedge trimmers to keep them clean and sanitized. Oh no, really? That's sweet. Yep, little uh, just dab in between the uh, like I know what I'm talking about. No, nah, I'm just Fast. kidding. We actually use this. Fast fix. Yep. Carbon choke parts cleaner. Yep. And, uh, oh. Couple shirts. Couple shirts. A flannel flannel and a, a shirt that's sweet there you go and then uh pen. well pen for all your invoicing right right there you go <laughs> uh come here really quick i got uh, one more for you all right uh this uh can you grab that echo box in yeah. between there sorry it's uh was all kind of jam-packed in here i'm uh, on the tour but this is uh from echo this is a 2620 handheld leaf blower this is all you Sweet. So well, here I go. Uh, gonna be phasing out the or phasing out the steel and getting all echo now. <laughs> so there you go. Well, here we'll we'll set that on the tailgate. Uh, so if uh, if you don't have a handheld blower, instead of uh, necessarily like you said, ripping a huge backpack blower on, you can just uh, clean up any of the uh, clippings from the driveway. You know, especially during the summertime. Yeah. Or if you guys were fertilizing, cleaning up all the other uh, pellets, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's from Echo. And then lastly, um, you've been to Equip and GIE, right? Yeah, I have. Are you headed back this year? Yep. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna comp your ticket. Oh, sweet. And there's two free classes we're gonna give you. Your pick. Uh, this is from the folks at Equip, so you get two free training classes that's worth $170 value. Woo. So if you want to pick like the swim and spa one, or a hardscaping class, or a lighting class, uh, we'll get your info, get all that mess, and uh, we're going to comp your ticket to the show, and then we're also going to give you two free tracks, two free education classes down at the show. Awesome. So there you go. Um, do me a quick solid. Um, yeah. what, what's Equip Exo? Give me a 30 second plug if anybody hasn't heard of it. So Equip Exo is a lot of fun. Um, basically it's a week long trade show industry or in the green industry mm -hmm. and um you know there's lawnmowers uh, excavators heavy equipment hardscapes anything that you want and then they also have an additional i think it's like 32 acres something like that something like that 40 acres of just pure uh playing with the equipment and you can just you know romp on it there you go and uh test and it actually that's why i bought all these skags is because i went to gie well now equip expo and um i kind of Demo them all. So, yeah, you demo them all, and then you say, "All right, well, Skag's the way you want to go, or X marks the way you want to go," and um, that's uh, that's awesome. That's but, awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, good stuff, man. Well, uh, well, if you're headed back, we're gonna get you a couple free classes, and uh, you'll be able to uh, store all your equipment before then in the fall, and uh, we'll rock and roll. But awesome. um, we're gonna button up right here. We're gonna shoot a podcast. So if you guys want to look in the uh, show notes in the description box, we'll have a link for uh, for Ethan's episode. But hey, hey, great job here, man. You are Thanks, doing Brian. you are doing a great job. And uh, where can people follow you on social, and then we'll wrap up. So you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Hammond Landscape. I'm probably easier to get a hold of, and there's a lot more uh, 
stuff going on on my Instagram page. Okay. Uh, the Facebook's just kind of more of like the business and the work. Sure. And um, that's like, where yeah. you can find you. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, guys, over and out from uh, Hammond HQ over here in Lansing, Okemos, Bath, Michigan area. Yep. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one. Awesome. Thank you.